seven eleven and Q nine minus three are two points on the line PQ. A. Find the midpoint of PQ. Calculate the gradient of PQ, and find the equation of the perpendicular of PQ. So this is um, a good test of all your coordinate geometry. So we've got the two points here. Always a good idea to mark down x1, y1, x2, y2. So for the midpoint, you just add the two x coordinates together and divide by 2 to get the x coordinate, and then the two y coordinates together divided by 2 to get the y coordinate. So it's going to give 7, x1 plus x2 plus 9, divided by 2, and then it's going to give you 11 plus minus 3, Careful with minus signs divided by 2. 7 plus 9 is 16 over 2. And 11 minus 3 is 8 over 2. So it gives a nice point of 8, 4. For the gradient, to find the gradient between two points, you do y2 minus y1 x2 divided by x2 minus x1. So it's going to be minus 3, y2, minus 11, divided by 9, minus 7 from x1. Minus 3 minus 11 is minus 14. 9 minus 7 gives you 2. Minus 14 divided by 2 gives you minus 7. Right, we, in order to find the equation of the perpendicular, we now need to find the gradient of the perpendicular. So if this is minus 7, then you find, sorry, let's just go back a minute, the gradient of the um, perpendicular by doing minus 1 over the, the gradient you just calculated. So we need to do minus 1 over minus 7, which gives a gradient of 1 over 7. The minus signs cancel out. Another check you can do is that minus 7, the gradient we just calculated, times this one, which is perpendicular. If we multiply these together, we get minus 1, which is the condition for perpendicular lines. Right, we now have that midpoint, which is 8, 4. We call this one mn, and we're going to call this one x3, y3. Now the equation of the perpendicular bisector is given by y minus y3 is equal to mn x minus x3. So it's going to be y minus 4 is equal to 1 seventh brackets x minus 8. Now normally if there's a fraction, the easiest thing to do here is to multiply the whole thing through by 7. So we get 7 brackets y minus 4 is equal to x minus 8. And then we do 7 times y, which gives me 7y. 7 times minus 4, which gives me minus 28. And that's still equal to x minus 8. If I take the 7y over here and add 28, so we're going to get x minus 7y. And if I add 28, I'm going to get plus 20. And that's now equal to 0. So our equation of our perpendicular bisector is x minus 7y plus 20. So this has been a video to show you how to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector once you have been given two points. The question is guided because you're told how to do steps A and B before actually attempting C. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.